If you walk into Matthews Park, you'll be able to learn more about 24 different species of trees simply by scanning a code into an app. We felt that uh, putting QR codes on the signage would be helpful to get people more interested in using these. As part of a national and state effort to increase public awareness on urban forestry, the Norwalk Tree Alliance has posted four by six inch signs in parks around Norwalk with codes that can be scanned with any free quick response app. Currently, there are about 20 posted in Matthews Park alone. Ron Muller, who assisted in coordinating the local effort, says it's an opportunity to implement learning with quick response technology. I think it's important for uh, uh, the younger generation who uses these QR codes for sure uh, to, uh, to get acquainted with what's around them. And uh, trees are certainly an important part of, uh, of what we are and, and what we have. Once the code is scanned, the application will open up the internet browser on your phone with in-depth information about each tree. You hit go and then it generates the code for you. You save the code and then I, I um, took that code and I transferred it to the uh, artwork for the, for the file. As we've reported, the campaign is funded by a $7,000 grant provided by the Forestry Department of the U.S. Agriculture Department through the Connecticut Department of Energy and Environmental Protection. The signs are posted on over 100 trees in four city parks, which include the Rosa Parks Arboretum, Cranberry Park, Shady Beach, and Calf Pasture Beach. In Norwalk, I'm Priscilla Lombardi for its Relevant News.